What's up everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Night Studios and I am starting a... well, I shouldn't say I'm starting a new series. I'm doing an episode on this new game that I found called Hardland. Uh, you can see it up in the top left corner that it's in early access. Um, I saw it randomly on Steam and it just looked really cool and then I started looking into it and started like investigating things and blah 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 and it looked really awesome so I got it and wanted to do a uh, episode on it and so I'm looking for feedback from you guys as to whether or not you would like to see it continue so keep that in mind one thing I'm gonna do I left it on initially just so you can kind of see how the graphic art is but I'm gonna hit P and turn off the photographic mode or whatever it's called. Um, it's basically like a depth of field type blur, which is cool and all, but it can be a little blurry for, like it's too strong for me. So I like it off, actually. So it's an action RPG. Um, let's, uh, music's a little loud here. There. Um, so it's an action RPG, and you know, you've got your shield and your sword fightery. Ooh. And you can pick stuff up. Um, and you've got a stamina bar, XP, level up, all that stuff. I've only played it very briefly, so I don't know all the in ins and outs. Uh, but you've got some interesting stuff going on here. And we've got our quests, we've got our map. So kind of standard stuff. Um, it is important to note when you first load the game up, it's listed as 48% completed in terms of what they've accomplished in their game so far. But from what I've heard, it's supposed to be kind of a hack and slash RPG with like Pixar type art style. And I love the art style. Like I could not be more pleased with the art style to it. It's so great. So recently they've their last update did a lot to where like they have quests and stuff now. So hi there, I'm Dave, the fisherman. Haven't seen you before. You can be rude. So you can see the um, uh, kind of precursor to decision making, which would be cool. I want. I'm not gonna be rude to the guy. He's an old fisherman. Uh, you weren't there half an hour ago when I just returned from my fishing trip. Something strange is happening, indeed. Um, so where's the closest town? Of Fortuna is right next to us. Just follow the road north. Um, so you're a fisherman. I catch the fish and my good friend Demovi... Demovoi... Sure. Sells the fish at the Fortuna market. It is a lot of work, but quite profitable and very satisfying. We never have to throw any food away as Demovi... Dumbavoy is always hungry. I could help. Do you have use for extra hands? Sure, you can deliver this pot of fish. So we have a quest. It's kind of how questing works at the moment. Um, you can examine stuff like this. It's filled with carrots. One cool thing I'm going to show off here. Um, now, also, I'd like to point out back to the graphics for a second. This is running on medium, actually. I tried to run it on like ultra and high and stuff like that. I can run it okay, but when I start recording, my frame rate drops a little bit. So in order to get like the best performance for recording, I decided to go with uh, the medium setting, which really doesn't look bad or anything at all. I mean, it still looks pretty epic. Um, I actually had a hard time differentiating between them, to be honest. Um, I did a couple comparison stuff, but like that, some of the, a lot of the stuff has like some really cool collision stuff going on. We can examine it. So we need a silver key to open the treasure chest, but we can carry it with us if we want. And we can also... How do you throw it? There's a way to throw... Is it left? Dang it, I don't remember how to throw stuff. Oh! Oh, you can roll! That's new. Okay, so E to carry. Oh, you hold E. And then you can throw stuff. So that's cool. You can break things, which it's supposed to be... I don't know if it's fully destructible environment. I think it is. Oh, I'm out of stamina. And then it's almost like an Elder Scrolls game where you can... Uh, can I eat this or just... Oh, well, okay. Right-clicking eats things. Good to know. Pick up all this food because I don't know. 
how this is gonna work. Potato. Oh, jeez. Talk to the cart? It's used to move goods around. Okay. That's random. So yeah, I really like the... And it's got, like, shift to run and everything. Don't go in this portal. I went there when I was testing things out. It's like there's large, scary things in there. I died a couple times. Not fun. So I don't know who this guy is. Let's go talk to him. The world's supposed to also be procedurally generated and everything, too. Surprised to see a warrior like you. I've been practicing my sword play recently, and it's definitely starting to show, though I doubt I will ever become as good as the Guildmaster. That guy is unstoppable after a couple of beers. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Oh, something's glowing. I know, I'm getting so sidetracked. Who are you? Whoa! What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do? Guard, help me. Wow, did he just smack his own guy? Guard. I see the enemy. Aha! Cool. So we got the guard involved. I just don't want to hurt him, too. Come here. I want XP. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he totally smacked him in the face. <laughs> that was a total backhand. That's awesome. Whoa. Oh, we got him. I think. There's all this stuff. Pick it up. Goblin heart. Wooden spoon. Soldier armor. I'm just I'm just going to pick all this crap up. See, that's what's cool is it's like it actually is kind of like a loot fest game. Dude, this guard is doing some his sword play is improved. So yeah, it's supposed to be a procedurally generated with some handcrafted areas. Um, what are you doing? Oh, he's after this guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, what is this? A ghoul? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get myself killed. Run away. Wait, did it auto-equip my armor? Or is this what I've been wearing? What is this thing? What is this thing? Oh, I definitely lost armor just now. Aha! Gotcha. So yeah, don't exactly know how all this is supposed to work. Alright. Pick all this crap back up. Looks extremely heavy. I should be able to pick it up. Pickle? Cool brain. Uh, did it destroy? Oh, okay, there it is. Did it I was going to say, did it destroy or just knock off my armor? Hey, look! I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Um, one thing, though, is... I, I definitely think they nailed the attempt at going for a Pixar-style art. It really looks good. I can't stress that enough. Howdy. Trade. Can I trade? Beerstein, cheese, cinnamon bun, potato. I don't need any of that, I don't think. So we're supposed to go into the town and give this guy some fish stuff. But before we do, let's check out our um, inventory that's full of crap now. Goblin axe. So we have, like, it has required levels, damage, stamina drain, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have a compare function yet. Again, this is still pretty early. So, the other thing is when you go to uh, left click and hold on something, it'll show you what places you can put it. So, like, I can only put this in the helmet because it's a helmet. Um, 200. There's also something interesting with this shield that it says 40%. I don't know if that means it only defends 40% damage reduction, or if that means it's at 40% damage or something. Because if you'll notice, this one doesn't do that. So I'm not entirely sure if that means it's not a full damage reduction thing. Oh goodness, Ice Hammer of Ardgar. Strangely close to Asgard, but you know. 
So that you have to be level 3, but we do have it. We got it off the, the big guy. Oh, shoulder armor left. This must have been what got knocked off. I thought it says soldier armor. It's shoulder. Okay. We don't have anything on our body, though. Wooden spoon. So I didn't actually pick up... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. But yeah, I love the little, like, Pixar-y looking kind of art style to it. It's really cool and cute. Wah. Ouch! Oh no, I died! Oh wait, no, I reached level 2. Hey, he knocked my helmet off. How do they keep doing that? It's not actually... It's not actually, like, damaging to the point that it's... Wait, Goblin Captain Helmet, it has menacing horns on it. Wasn't this large a second ago? It was large a second ago. So it's like leveled armor. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Now these guys are pretty predictable. They have... I'm dark soulsing this. Is that a soulsing? Souling. I'm dark souling this. There we go. Where are we? Aggro them. Wait for them to attack. Oh, dang. That hurt so bad. That hurt me so bad. I have 12 health. I'm gonna die. Ah! Piece of a watermelon. Potato. So, for health at the moment, the only way I know to get more health... I don't have any potions or anything. Is to put it in your hand. Like your left hand. And then left click. Um, and you can see our health was raised. I believe it's raised by the armor count in in this. I think that's a tooltip error. So, 520... Yeah, so it's... Oops. So, whatever you see the armor, just know that for food and stuff, it's actually per how much it's going to give you for health. Um... What gives a good cheese works pretty good. And there's also tooltips as far as on the top right you could see if there's anything important or something doesn't help you hide among the ghouls. Doesn't help. Oh, you can put that on your head. That's creepy. It's still beating? That's scary. I have no idea what you could kill a bear with this thing means as far as, like... I guess you could drink it. That would be scary. Pickle is 32. Let's go ahead and do that. Piece of watermelon. Potato. Red pepper. You can use a fork. Confirmed. This is, like, the best game ever. You can fight with a fork. And a wooden spoon. Alright, so I guess I'm left with cheese, corn, and apples is my best means of recovery from the terrible ghoul attack. And like I said, there's there's some things like being able to, to stack this kind of stuff would be nice, but all that kind of stuff I'm imagining will end up in here in future updates. Ah! Surprise attack! I got you. It's got some of the coolest collision detection, though, in terms of... Like, look at how the... When you break the fence, it just, like, completely breaks apart. It's not... It's almost like the whole thing is def uh, deformable, which is awesome. So I really like how, what they're onto. Like, they're onto a really good... This is a large treasure chest. I saw this the first time I was playing through, so I wanted to show that off. But I still have not found a key. Alright. I know, I'm sorry. I've been kind of, like, derping around in the main area. The goblins have been stealing our stockpiles. I want you to teach them a lesson and bring me five goblin hearts. The goblins live in a nearby landmark. Oh, that's cool. I never got that quest before. So the quests and everything, I think, are supposed to be... There's a mix between procedural and what they're calling landmarks, I guess, which is instance-based. Um, oops. Oops. 
Stop it. Fishy business. Clay the Slayer of Spider's Quest. Oh, Clay the Slayer of Spiders. Okay, I was like, I don't understand this. So... What is this for? Oh. Is that my marker? I'm not sure. Oh, it just tells us right there. Quest. Goblins have a... Uh, there is a lot of, um repeat stuff as far as like if you talk to people they'll like give you the same quests and things. I don't know if that's a like, glitch or if it won't actually proceed but it just tells you it like I'm not really sure. Now we do have two markers. I'm going to assume how do I get rid of my way ah there we go. So I'm going to assume... Oh, one was my waypoint. Duh. Okay. Whoa. Jumpy guy. Um, I can pay you well if you manage to find me a nice helmet. Okay. I. If I find a nice helmet, I'm keeping it. I don't want to give you that. Now, normally, you would just look around. I love how you can bump into everything, though. This, the collisions and everything is so cool. Um, welcome to the Fortuna Market. I'm Domovoy. I've got a selection of all fresh fish, blah, blah, blah. So I've got a fish delivery from Dave. We got 300 gold and a blue fish. There's... That's a nice catch, though. I hoped he would have caught a catfish today. I haven't tasted the tender whiskers in a long time. Here's some money for your troubles. Take this fish and say hi to Dave if you see him. Uh... Okay, so now I'm assuming this other quest is this way. Now, I never got this quest before, so I don't know if the quests are randomized or if that was just I didn't talk to him at the right time or something. Uh, because I never got this one about going to fight the goblins or whatever. But this is kind of cool because it's my first like adventure quest and, you know... I've never gone past this part yet, so... Ooh. Uh... So about this whole quest thing... I'm drowning! No! 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 Jump! Jump for your life! Okay. Okay. Dang it. Well, we'll find out how death works. <laughs> Prepare to die. Alright, so... Armor... I'm not sure if actually anything happened. Maybe I lost gold? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to my gold numbers. Um... Requires deliver a pot of fish to Domovai at the forge. Oh wait, it's a checkpoint system. Ah, uh, okay. I got it now. I'm a derp. That blue arrow is just that blue arrow is just pointing north. I just died because I ran straight north into the water. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so now if I go here... Okay, cool. Quest completed. The goblin lives in the nearby landmark. So... I don't think they mean here, but I thought the landmarks are supposed to be your actual handcrafted, like, instance-based areas. Or not instant space. I don't know why I said that. The handcrafted areas. So I guess maybe they do live in here somewhere? Maybe? I find that odd. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Goblin Forest. There we go. Let's do that. That's gotta be the right one. And wait, now the map looks like it's kind of off to the left. Or the arrow. 
out to town. I can't figure out what the little blue arrow is. So we're just gonna walk around until we find some goblins. Ooh, it looks all misty and junk. It's so cool. Hey, there's a goblin! Oh, goblin shepherd. Oh, okay. Well, move along. <gasps> Does he have samurai armor on? Kind of looks that way. Die! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Wait! Come here! Come here! Ah! Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'll have to actually look up and see what my stamina attack does. Or my attack does. Woo! I love this spinning goblin right now. Ah! Poor crossbow, goblin axe. Yes, please. Town guard helmet. Might be able to use that to complete that quest, actually. Captain's heart. All of their hearts are just rolling down the hill, and I'm just picking them all up. I'm a terrible individual. Silver fork. Goblin minion shield. I can probably sell some of this stuff, too. Oh, I could sprint. That's that's a thing. Hey, there's a person. What's up? I heard lots of stories about wizards. Okay, then. Alright, now what's my quest again? Five goblin hearts. I believe I have that now. I have seven. Ah! So stamina drain is 40, use cost is plus 50, this one is plus 70. So it's either going to be 200 or 70, which I think it's 70. So the use cost is how much stamina it's going to take. So 70 would be... Oh, more goblins! Oh yes, we leveled up to level 3. Oh wait a minute! Wrathful Axe. That means we might be able to use one of the captain weapons. Ah! Come here. Heart. Ooh. And there's... It seems like uh, cups and gold and stuff you just auto-pick up when you walk over things. Alright. Where's that hammer? Ice hammer of Adgar. Ardgar. So 200 use cost. And s Ooh, wow. Damage 197. Powerful hammer enchanted with an ice spell. All right, he's watermelon. Poor crossbow. I feel like I just picked up something else. It has kingdom markings on it. it. Has menacing horns. Rathalax. Looks very dangerous. One thirty-three. Use cost of two fifty. So I think the sword would still be better, but I want to try this mace or axe or whatever, or hammer. Oh yeah, just call me Thor. Boom. Mm. Boom. Just dominating. Hey, where are you going, little buddy? Come here. I just killed a chicken. Oh, gosh. <gasps> you can deform the ground? Oh, that's so cool. Dead chicken. Pick up the dead chicken. For reasons. Now, I don't know how leveling and stuff works as far as spells and other things. Oh, yes. Just... Took down the champion. Did I just one-shot him? Oh, we are doing work. Come here. The collisions on this are freaking amazing, actually. Come on. Come on, what you got? What you got, little ghoul? Oh, he is a level 8. I gotta be careful around him. Come on, wind up. There you go. Ooh. 
Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just realizing something. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, I can't actually pick up the ca the uh, cabbage. I can only... Wait, why not? Why can't I pick up cabbage? That's weird. Man, this forest looks cool though, huh? So, my stamina doesn't appear to be going down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I'm reading this wrong. Wait no. Stamina drain. Use stamina cost is 200. So why isn't my stamina going down? Do I have to hit something? I don't no idea why this won't work. So let's turn this quest in. That's so weird. Well, it will work. I don't know why the stamina is not working. Though, I mean, you could always chalk it up to early access, but I don't know if it's supposed to or not, is the thing. Because my sword was. My sword was using stamina. Oh gosh, I have a blue fire hammer. Seriously, just call me Thor. Okay. Oh no! Oh, okay. So you have to be in, like, certain water or waist-high water. Can I break? Oh, you can't break it! I'm just tearing up this town. Alright. Alright, Slayer of Spiders. Complete this. What do I get? Almost 1,200 gold. I don't know how much that actually is. Um, so anyways, I think we're going to end the episode here. So let me know what you guys think about Hardland and whether you would like to see more of it. Uh, rest assured, if you don't, I'm still going to play it because it's awesome. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. But let me know what you guys think. Um, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.